Hey everyone, so I've been meditating for an hour and 54 minutes now about, um, and I've come to some interesting realizations about energy, and in order for this to kind of make sense I have to explain a little background about what I've learned. Um, now, I meditated a lot on my own and kind of developed my own way of meditating for years. And then um, I've also gone to a psychic school, that being Portland Psychic School. And I learned a very specific way of meditating there as well. I like to kind of incorporate different things. I don't always do one way or another way. I've also, you know, found interesting ways online um, of how to meditate differently. Um, but anyways, what I was taught at the in my training, my psychic training, which which was much different from what I did on my own. The reason why I went to the school was because it kind of made it so that I had a more of a structure and a you know platform if you want to call it that as a way to be able to actually do readings for people and to take it another step for myself so it was very helpful in that way but anyways what i was taught there was i mean lots of things but like one of the things i was taught was white energy is not always the best thing to fill in your aura with um and that's because it is yes it is of a very high vibration but the problem is that it's not at a vibration that resonates with the body and being present within the moment here um because it's just it's just a different vibration than the vibration of your body being present within your life on earth or whatever planet you may be on it doesn't really matter regardless gold energy is what i was taught is the highest vibration that can still resonate with the body and still be more present here and now and so white energy was always labeled as unconscious energy. And that doesn't mean that it's unconscious because on a spirit level, because a spirit as opposed to body level, as opposed to being here now, a spirit level is kind of outside of time and kind of like where you, it's more like the astral realm, I guess you could say. On a spirit level, white light is very healing for you. Um, but on a body level, being here manifesting things in your life, making things real for you, white light is actually more of an unconscious energy within that context. In the same sense that your subconscious or unconscious parts of your mind may be more associated with your spirit and so you may not you as in the body awareness of you isn't really aware of the what's going on with your spirit all the time that's kind of a different sort of consciousness on some level although they can be fused together. But in order for them to be fused together, it has to be at the vibration of gold, because otherwise it's not going to resonate with your body and the consciousness of you being in your body. And so if in order for those to kind of fuse together, it has to turn to a gold vibration instead. So anyways, that's my kind of explanation of what I was taught there. Um, anyways, during this meditation that I was doing, I decided I don't really care about doing it like the way that 
I was taught I'm going to do it the way that I kind of taught myself how to do it, which is really just being aware of my body and the space around me, the aura, and kind of connecting to the to the earth and being grounded and all that. So anyways, I was doing that and I was just becoming aware of the energies around me and I was becoming aware of like how tight my aura was behind me and how like people from, you know, people I interact with, they're just, I was like, oh, like they're really messing up my aura and I could kind of get a sense of actually near specifically who it was, who was kind of, um, you know, you know, ruining my vibe, so to speak, if you want to put it that way, or in other words, crunching up my aura and distorting it behind me in a way that wasn't working for me. It was kind of causing this false sense of self, like this tension, this uh, like social tension when you're trying to kind of put on a role that isn't you because of social demand for you to be a certain way. So you kind of, you know, basically I was noticing that and it was, I was noticing that that was this thing behind me in my aura that I was clearing out. I'm not trying to go on a tangent here that's kind of going down a rabbit hole. But anyways, what I'm trying to get to here is that at one point when I was kind of healing my aura and whatnot with gold energy, I noticed a lot of this white energy, which I noticed that all the time, actually. But um, I was kind of clearing it out. And as I was doing this, I was like, you know what? Maybe I don't need to clear this out. Maybe it's okay to be there. I don't know. I was in like kind of like this, I don't believe anything mode. I question everything. I question the things that I know even. That's the mode I was in, just this state of complete curiosity, I guess you could call it. So anyways, I asked, so I was doing healing on myself. And so I, well, I have a specific guide assigned to me for healing. And so I asked my guide um, about this white light and um, why is it there? And the answer that I got was that it's there because I'm not ready to experience the energy pattern within that frequency yet. And so I kind of tuned into it more and it became more and more obvious to me that this was about procrastination, like the white energy. It's like it has the same pattern coding if you want to think of it like that like it has say the same code in it um but it's at a different frequency which means that i can't integrate it into my reality and experience it now and then the gold was kind of like the energy of facing something i've always been taught that gold is the energy of forgiveness which it is but i think there's many different angles of looking at something and so the the angle that i was picking up on for myself um not necessarily in contradiction to everything i've been taught but with the mindset of maybe i don't believe anything right now i'm just going to see what comes up for me and so what was coming up for me within that mindset was that gold is the energy of kind of the things that you don't necessarily want to face. Like when you have to have a conversation where you might like not really say certain things to certain people, but now it's like you kind of, you've almost been discovered and now people are like, Oh, like I didn't know you were into psychic work. And now it's like, Oh, now I have to own up to it. And that's the energy of gold is not it's kind of the opposite of the energy of procrastination which is what the white is because the white it's at a higher vibration it's at a spirit vibration versus a spirit vibration incorporated into the 
body vibration, if you want to call it a body vibration, more of the vibration of being present on earth within your body. And that's the energy of manifestation because you can have things spiritually, you know, um, on a spiritual level, they can, you can have that energy there. But in order for that energy to manifest, you know, it has to kind of come down to this gold vibration. And in order for that to happen, you have to kind of face these fears, not necessarily, it's not necessarily that you're facing fears, but it's kind of like you have to deal with the consequences. That's more what I'm trying to say here than fear. Um, so sometimes you may have something that you, you know, you're like, oh, I, I really want to have this experience and it's something that's important to you that you're you're all about but it's like it's off there in the distance you know it's like it's over the horizon it's gonna happen tomorrow like maybe even later today you're planning it but it's not but it's just like you're not there yet you're not there that's that's gold being there you're not there that's white light you're not there as in like physically as in like manifested it may be energetically there but it's not manifested so i realized that a lot of the things that have been kind of in my head that i haven't been able to you know make real for me were at this white vibration so that's why i was noticing this white vibration specifically i always have a lot of white energy I notice that's like right around my crown and kind of above my head um, and so kind of by accepting that this kind of in a sense accepting that I have this white energy allowed me to see it for what it was and actually transmute it into this gold energy easier than if I had simply been kind of in resistance to it and been like, oh, I don't want to have this unconscious energy here. But instead of just seeing it as that, I was able to really kind of tune into it and learn more about what it actually is from my own perspective rather than just going off of, you know, textbook knowledge, if you want to call that, or what I've been told or what have, you know, other psychics have told me. So in some sense, I took that unconscious white light energy and kind of saw it for what it was more, um, kind of allowed it to be whatever it is, therefore kind of allowing it to become more of my present experience. And um, not something that's kind of off there over the rainbow, but more so now it's more integrated and more grounded, I guess you could say. No, I'm not going to say grounded. I want to, you could say that it's more grounded, but I think a better way of putting it is that it's more here. It's more real. It's more present. It's not something that is intellectual it's more something that is like happening and in some sense you have to face that energy and so a lot of the things that you don't have manifesting in your life yet are at that white vibration rather than the gold vibration and the reason why you're not manifesting it is because you don't want to because you don't want to make it gold and have to deal with the reality of it and this might not be conscious obviously but when you meditate and you really tune into these things you can become more conscious of it and um, you can kind of change the energy 
and decide that you're going to embrace the things that you want and embrace the side effects that come along with it, if you want to call it side effects, or the things you have to deal with in order to get there, in other words. Or, you know, for me, it's a lot of psychic work and um, being able to kind of talk about it publicly, <laughs> that's kind of a, a theme for me. And um, that's kind of what I'm coming or getting over. Um, so for whatever it may be for other people, you know, that's for you to explore and find out for yourself. So I thought it would just be interesting to talk about the, the white light versus the gold light and maybe inspire you to sit down and meditate a little bit by yourself and just see what comes up for you. Just um, don't have any expectations and just see what comes up. Thanks for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet, and have a great day. Thanks for watching.